Let's go down and see how the rest of our program works. First thing I'm going to tell you is that we're using the system.text.regularExpressions namespace. And that gives us the ability to do some of the things we're going to do coming up. Now, this is going to work with the regex object. If you're familiar with regex from other languages like Java, other languages that might use this object, then it's going to make a lot of sense to you. It works very similarly. We're going to be looking for a match object here, a method that's going to return our matches. You can also work with the matches that we're going to see here. So we have a for each. We're finding a match, which is a class. You can see here, this is going to be a single regular expression match. We assign it a variable, just m, and we're going to find all the matches in our regular expression object dot matches. We pass that text string, which is our source string, and then we give it the pattern, which is the pattern that we came up with, and then we're going to match each string. That m is going to come back for each match, and we're going to just convert it to a string, pass it to a string. You can use it, do whatever you want with it, use it within another method call, put it somewhere, put it in a structure or another class. Each match is going to need to do the to string to get it to, to a string type, and then we're going to just right line it. You could just do it a simpler way too if you wanted to, but very easily we're able to work with the regex.matches to put the source, the pattern, and then output our strings, as we saw. So we'll take a look at that quickly in case you didn't see that previous video, and you can see these are our matches. Output to new lines. And next we can take a look at how to actually replace strings within the regular expression. We're going to find in our matches here, we go back up and look at our s, we have white space, which is lowercase s, and non-white space, which is uppercase s. And then the plus is going to mean one or more of those characters in a row. So we put the parentheses so we can actually match something and return that full match there. And we can call with the dollar sign one, two, or three. Now this is in reverse order because we're switching it. And dollar sign one is the first match, dollar sign two is the next match, dollar sign three is the third match, and so forth. Similar to how we do with the string formatting. So what we do is we find, this is how it matches here, the first, second, and third. We're going to find the first non-white space. Then we find a white space. We're going to ignore that. And then we're going to find another non-white space group of characters, one or more characters. And we're going to ignore this middle one here, which is two. So that'll stay where it is. Two will stay where it is. And we'll swap one and three so that it comes out in a different order. And we're going to use the regex.replace to do that, as you can see here. And we just put in our variable name and where we want to start. And then we just write that out. We're going to write out the original. And then we're going to write out the changed. In the last example, more easiness, we're going to change this part of our path right here, default. We're going to change default. We again use that at sign to literally take the string if we wanted to. We don't really need it here, but we could if we wanted to put in the backslashes here. We're looking for default, and we'll change it to Brian Max. So we have the original again, and then the changed. So I'll show you how that works. There we go at the bottom here, the quick brown fox. Well, quick the brown fox. We changed it around. And you can also look here at the bottom, we took the default and changed that to Brian Max. So you can do a lot of great processing with regular expressions, a lot of great things you can do. I could talk about regular expressions all day. There's so many different ways you can work with it, and I just encourage you to dive into it. And it's something really special within your C Sharp environment, but it's not just working with C Sharp. You're going to use it in a lot of different areas, your websites, JavaScript, and even applications like Dreamweaver, for example, and your Visual Studio and other Microsoft products, Office, they all use regular expressions. So jump in, get used to them, make a list of them, and then you can just open them up when you need to from a file, and you can have them and cut and paste as you need to.